friends, Christy here over at Crafty Christy's Creations. And today we're gonna to take a step back and talk about some basic things. And we're gonna cover how to do a test cut. So whenever you're using a new type of material or you've got a new blade, I highly recommend doing a test cut so that way you don't ruin your material and waste tons of time and material every time you go to use a new product. So I've got a um, sheet of cardstock already on my mat and we're gonna do a test cut down here at the bottom. So that way when I load everything in to my machine, I don't have to completely unload every time I do a test or before I go ahead and make my final cut. So we're gonna go ahead and just load this in. Just like normal, load. And then on the Cameo, on the Cameo 2, and then um, you also have the options to do it in Silhouette Studio, but you've got some arrows, if you click on it down here at the bottom, it brings you up some arrows. And what you can do with those arrows is that'll move the pave, uh, move your mat in or out of the machine, and then you can also move the cutting head, uh, you know, left and right to the perfect spot. I tend to use, the test cut options that are on um, on the computer, I find it a little bit easier to use. So let me go ahead and show you how this is gonna work. So in Silhouette Studio, um, on my send panel, I've got this down at the bottom after you've put in all your cut settings that you wanna use, you've got this little test area. And I'm gonna use these arrows and I'm gonna move my mat down. So I'm hitting the down button and it's moving to my mat towards the bottom of the page. And I like to go down towards the bottom here and do my cuts down there. And then I'm going to put my actual design up towards the top of the page. And now I can go ahead and move my um, cut over to the right. So it's just bringing it in a little bit. And if that's where I want it, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit test. And what that's going to do is it's going to cut out a square and a triangle. And you want to be able to pick up the, tri uh, pick up the square and leave the triangle in place. So we're going to go ahead and hit test. So there it's cutting our little bits. And then you'll see now it go ahead and it will, oops, it, it will go ahead and remove everything and start back at the top of your mat. So the good part about it doing that is that gives you the chance to look down here and see if you can peel that up. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Right here on my mat is where I did my test cut and you can see you've got the outline of the square and then the outline of the triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel up that square and you can see this time it peeled up really nicely and it left that triangle there just fine and it's got nice crisp edges. So that tells me that these are the correct settings to use for this material. And then down in the description below, I will leave a link to a PDF that you can print out that you can keep track of your cut settings. So now I know that for this type of cardstock, I want to use the heavy 80 pound cardstock setting. And that puts me at, with my ratchet blade, a blade of three a force of 30, a speed of four, and one pass. And that gave me a good cut. So what I'll do is on my piece of paper, um, I'm gonna write down, this is Recollections brand cardstock, and then I'm gonna write down all those settings. So the next time I go to reach for this type of cardstock, I already know which settings to put in and that's gonna save me a lot of time. Now let's say this did not cut well um, and my little uh, square was hard to pull away. So then what I would do if it didn't cut well, you need to look at a couple things. If you've got a lot of ragged edges around, then maybe you need to slow down your speed. Or if it didn't cut all the way through and um, you know it's just not got a crisp cut on there, perhaps you need to um, increase the force, do another pass, meaning cut the same design out twice, or maybe you need to increase the depth of your blade. Um, unfortunately, uh, finding the right cut settings 
is a bit of um, a, just a test, which is why test cuts are very important. So anytime I have a new type of material that I'm using, I will always do test cuts to find the right cut settings. Even if I have to use one full sheet of cardstock, you know, typically it doesn't take that much. You do two or three test cuts and you tend to find the right settings. But once you have that, you know every time you use that type of material, those are gonna be the right settings. So it might take a lot of time the first time you go to do it, but after that, it'll always be quick and you can get right to cutting out your projects. So there you have it. That is the down and dirty on how to do a test cut. Remember to grab the free PDF download in, in the description below so that you can keep track of your cut settings to make your design time a lot faster in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.